Aries, we're going to see what's going on and keep in mind the energies can be vice versa, friend, family, co-worker. So, the first card you, you got was this one, the Three of Swords. So I think something was very heartbreaking. Um, a deep betrayal, a breakup, a separation. Um, I think someone was lied to. So I think someone found some things out. Um, Let me see. So, it looks like whatever you have going on, you feel like something is working in your favor. Um, whatever this is that you do, you're very successful at it. You're focused on work. Um, so, I do want to see why the devil is up there with success. Ooh. Three of Swords. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get more on the devil. You could be dealing with a cat. Wow, the Nine of Swords. Good Lord. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Okay. This is what I'm feeling. Someone feels successful at what they've done to you. Or vice versa, whatever. Pick your side. Because how can someone feel successful at causing... <laughs> this is wicked. Causing someone anxiety, stress, heartbreak? Someone feels successful at doing this. They feel like it was justice. Wow. So someone could have been trying to get back at you or some Aries were trying to get back at someone and they feel like it was a success. That is evil and wicked. Mm. <laughs> See, because whatever they did, they, they just walked away, cut you off. Like it was, wow. Okay. Hmm. Whoever you're dealing with is very devious, wicked, vile. They have an evil streak to them, whoever this is. Because how could you feel good about wrecking someone? You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I just feel like something was all a lie. It's like it was this person's plan or something all along. <sighs> okay. It's like they it's like they got they feel like they got justice out of doing this to you or you doing this to someone, whatever. It's vice versa. Um mm. I'm gonna get more clarity on that. That's just and see the bottom of the deck. Is the tower. <laughs> mm. Okay. Aries. So, okay. I, gotta, I can't get away from whoever this is. This is bothering me. So, this person was probably very friendly to your face. <laughs> but want to say almost. They were dangerously plotting, scheming against you. This person, they're never happy for anyone. They enjoy doing this to people. They enjoy drama. Um, they're, they're a manipulator. Possibly like a bully. Be, they like belittling people. They... Mm. Okay. Um, Aries. It just blows my mind. So, 
the, you're going to get a message coming in or someone's going to send you a message. I mean, or you're going to send a message, whatever. Um, or, you know, past, present, future. For some reason, I'm, feel like, I'm feeling like this happened because the Three of Swords is here. So this must have already happened for some, but I feel like someone might have put on like they liked you. They wanted to plan things with you, go on a date possibly. Um, but it's like, I'm just getting a really bad vibe from whoever this is that you were dealing with. Um, it's like they're just a bully. Overbearing or something. Anyway. Okay. Aries. I almost wanted to say Pisces, but see, you're definitely, there's going to be a message coming in or going out. Um, this person could be at a distance, but they may want to travel. They may want to see you. <sighs> you already know what that means. Um, just be ready for something. Be ready for a message to come in from this jerk off, whoever this is. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like someone's going to be love bombing you. So you have the moon. You've got someone who's sweet, nice to your face, but they're a dick behind your back. Don't trust this person. Um, <laughs> they're very vengeful, revengeful, like stupid, honestly. They destroy everything in their path is honestly what I'm getting. So you have the lovers. So this person could possibly be already, you know, I did see a marriage before I started when I was shuffling, but I didn't take it out. This person could already be married. They just want to hook up, you know, just like a, a, a rendezvous, like a romantic getaway just for sex. Don't trust this person. So, wow. Yeah, this person wants to have sex for sure. Possibly get someone pregnant. I mean, this person wants to uh, definitely have sex. That's what they want is sex. Or <laughs> the way I said sex. Um, they... I just feel like there's someone here that dates around. But And I will say, there could be someone in a same-sex marriage. Um, someone could be finding out that someone is in the same sex. You know, maybe this is a secret that someone's keeping also that you or someone else may find out. Someone may be worried that this is going to come out because of how people might judge them for some, I see. Um, hmm. See? This person, they, it's like, they just want one night stands. You have that and the nine of cups. This person likes hookups. Because this is the before tarot. So they're going to meet. They haven't met yet. They're, they're heading, see? They're traveling to meet. So someone wants to go hook up. They would like to go meet up with people. And, you know, they may meet up. So if you're married to someone, you know, male, female, you have someone who may go hook up with men, other men or other women, whatever. And if that's what they want to do, that I mean, that's fine. I don't have anything against anything. But you, you can't do that when you're married in a heterosexual marriage. I think it's unfair, you know. I think both parties would feel the same way. I mean, that's not for everyone. But I'm saying that story is not for everyone. But I do see that. Um, okay. I keep wanting to call you Pisces for some reason. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. You don't have to be, but let me get another deck. Um, okay. 
So, you know, if, if someone could be using someone as a rebound or did use someone as a rebound, um, I'm telling you, I feel like someone might find out someone's sleeping with the same sex. Um, it's like an unconvention, uh, unconventional relationship, and that's what that would be. You know, it's like it's like not the norm. Well, not the norm for most people. You get what I'm saying. It is normal, but not for you. Understand? Okay. Um, Aries. Aries. So, okay, Aries. Aries. So, I feel like you you trusted this person. You you could have been married to this person or this person is already married. See, I feel like some okay. I feel like someone chose somebody else, possibly. See, I knew I kept, kept seeing it. Well, I didn't see a water sign, but I kept feeling Pisces. So, it, you could be dealing with the Pisces. It doesn't have to be, but... Um, I just feel like you trusted someone, you possibly helped someone, and then they, they just, you know, it's like everything was a lie. Whatever all of this was, it's just all a lie. And someone could be going through some depression, their, you know, anxiety, stress, worry, sleepless nights, um... Or, you know, it's like someone could be worried that this is going to come to light for some. Um, okay, uh, Aries. See, so somebody's just playing in somebody's face. That is it. I just feel like you're, you ended up or you're going to have to end up just letting this person go, ending the cycle with whoever this is. Cutting yourself free. See, like I said, you could be dealing with a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. Um, just the love. You're going to have to cut your, cut your emotions off from whoever this is. Just let it go. Um, if you, you know, if you have found out this person has just been lying to you, and I mean, they, they were. Something was just all a lie. I mean, you have this King of Wands coming in here with his Ace of Wands. You know, like I said, he, the Moon, the Lovers, the Ace of Wands, like possibly just to hit it and quit it, you know, and then they leave. Um, anyway, don't be an option for anyone. Um, so either you found this out or you're going to find this out. Um, but there's definitely going to be a message coming in or you sending one out from someone. So anyway, that is what I have for you, Aries. I will see you in the next one.